हरि ओम हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट हार मनी इन के वी लिव इन अ कॉस्मॉस बट वी एक्सपीरियंस लाइफ एज अ के We live in a cosmos, and if you closely observe this cosmos, you find tremendous harmony in this cosmos. The way the sun rises, the sun sets, the seasons, so many things. If you closely observe, there is tremendous harmony, and we need wisdom to understand the harmony, and we have to learn the wisdom of how to live a life of harmony. But in life. we experience chaos even though there's a tremendous harmony so therefore how we can create since our experience in life is we are experiences experiencing chaos this is our experience but the experience of all enlightened masters that there is a cosmos in which we are living so we'll explore right to see how we can create harmony in this very chaos itself be it in interpersonal relationships be it in the work front be it whatever front how we can really create an harmony in chaos the very intention that i have to create an harmony in chaos will bring about a certain harmony so right now i want all of you to take a commitment and a stand i am going to create harmony in this chaos keep this intention and see some inner god in you will start speaking some inner music in you will start flowing a different poetry will start emerging within you in this world there is poison there is also nectar if you take the poison you will destroy your life if you search for the nectar it will nourish your life so too you know so there is a greed and there is a cosmic divine need If you start following the dictates of this greed, which is in the form of ahankara, ego, all right. When you start doing this, you will find support systems coming and trying to support you. When they come and support you, now the greed in you starts fulfilling with the hope that you will be happy, with the hope that you will be in harmony, with the hope that you will be content, and you will find your life is going to be a catastrophe in that space. The nigraha, the control, our yogis and rishis tell us. when there is a greed emerging in you your ego your malicious intentions which is a superficial man which is the shallow man that we have when it comes there if you can be patient if you can have tolerance and don't dance to its dictates if you don't tune yourself to these dictates as the rishis tell us neti neti negate those negate those and you will feel the ego will tell you but i'm going to lose i'm going to lose but be patient shraddhavan labate gnanam lord krishna in the gita says if you have shraddha if you have trust right you will attain the ultimate good so you need to have patience at that point so when greed comes and tells you to act out of greed to act out of ignorance you are patient All right the greed will tell you i'm going to lose if i don't dance if i don't fulfill this this one be patient be patient like if you are working let us say in some uh, sector be it a government or private sector something is there there's a greed in you somebody comes and gives you bribe all right when somebody gives you a bribe because there's greed in you there is the asura the demon in a form of a suit somebody may come to give you bribe to give you bribe there but if you can be patient and say i am not going to go to its dictates the ego is going to tell you but you are going to lose this bribe by losing it you are going to be poor by being poor you will not be able to support your children there will be an avalanche of thoughts an avalanche of logic which is going to say you will be a loser and loser if you don't cash on this opportunity it will tell you but if you are a student of vedanta if you are a student of spirituality you will say no shraddhavan labate gnanam i need to have shraddha and if you are patient and don't allow the dictates of the ego to take you over you will find the greed in you feels very unhappy and you will experience you are unhappy 
because we are identified ourselves with that greed you will experience your unhappy bear with that unhappiness tolerate with that unhappiness and as you bear and tolerate you will find slowly this you will experience unhappiness be patient and be patient for you know i have to fulfill in me the cosmic need not the kind of micro greed but i have to fulfill the macro cosmic need if i can be patient you will find mysteriously in that patience you will find now you will find a devata or divine being a divine support system will start coming and serving your cosmic need and it start curse serving your cosmic need and it serves your cosmic need you will find your life is going to be being uplifted 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 the path of the good is shreyas the path of the pleasurable is prayas when it is there learn to go on the path of shreyas and not on the path of prayas and when that happens life is fulfilling but what happens i want you to observe if you go on fulfilling your lower self the jivatma the dictates of the jivatma it appears you are gaining but in fact you are losing right because to fulfill the negative in you you have to become negative when you start becoming negative and negative you have to take bribe when you have to take bribe you have to get into a certain level of lies a level of manipulation you have to manipulate with your accounts you have to tell lies to your boss you have to tell lies to so many people when you start doing this because to fulfill the asura you have to get into those modes when you have to go get into those negative modes what happens listen a negative system starts building in you a negative system in you a negative psychological system starts building in you when a negative system starts building in you because you are fulfilling to your lower self the negative system of lies manipulations you have to learn to cut the other person right you have to make your mother in law wrong to prove yourself you are right when all this negative different negative systems starts building up in you and when negative system starts building up in you you have to build it and when you build the building you are creating a negative psychological programming in you when you create a negative psychological programming in you then what happened a negative system when it is created you will find interestingly after some time you have no control in your life the negative system has a control in your life a negative system takes control in your life when a negative system takes control in your life the negative system will develop its own supportive mechanism to support it it will have its own supportive mechanism to support it will start supporting it it will give logic because the negative system will develop an autonomous body within its own self an inner government within its own self an inner rule within its own self an inner order in its own chaos and as it becomes a matter of survival for the negative system to sustain itself and afterwards you will find you are not the throne of the life the negative system takes you over isn't it like even for some people i know to solve a certain problem to solve a certain problem they felt the police is too small to solve the problem or too slow to solve the problem i know this family starting support with the underworld people now they didn't take the path of the shreyas they took the path of the prayers because quicker to the underworld when you start taking now support from the underworld people to get a certain uh, a certain uh, need which they had rightfully need they had to get it they found the police the government is slow slow in this process they took a shorter method the path of the prayers all right and afterwards when they took the underworld support then afterwards they found their problem was solved but they got into a bigger problem they got into a bigger problem and the bigger problem was what the underworld people have their own rules you i have solved your problem now you solve my problem and what their problem they had their own demands and they got into a bigger mess like in my book oh mind relax please i gave this example 
somebody goes to mullah nazruddin and says mullah somehow solve my problem i have a very very bad stomach ache somehow by hook or crook solve the problem mullah says come takes a big stone and smashes it on his leg and his fellow ayo yo ayo starts jumping jumping with pain so why do you do that he says now you don't have stomach ache you have leg ache he says you have stomach you said somehow solve your stomach ache now you don't experience stomach ache you have leg ache now to solve one problem to solve one problem you get into a bigger problem and i know that family was in a big mess because those fellows frequently more than the mother in law and father in law the underworld people are visiting them they start visiting the underworld underworld people and they start telling me swami ji can you come to them and empower them to change them i said no i don't want i have only one life i said some people don't change just some people don't change and if some people don't change you should have the wisdom to insulate yourself from them right and therefore please understand i'm giving this example because when you go fulfill your lower self the jivatma need you have to be negative when you have to be negative a negative system gets created and a negative system has its own government like the underworld has its own rules they also have loyalty you know underworld people they should be loyal to them you go to another underworld person they'll finish you you are my customer you should be permanently my customer is it etc so the negative system takes over once a negative system takes over then you find your life is going to be in a very very big mess and therefore the task of spirituality is to dismantle the negative system which has dismantled you in so many janmas we have built a negative system we have become a built a negative system so many janmas by sanchita karma we have built a negative system now the task of this life right now is to dismantle a negative system which has dismantled us all right and therefore this is the meaning of the word hindu heenam nashayati iti hindu heenam what destroy what keeps you low heenam what keeps you low nashayati you should destroy what keeps you low ask yourself what keeps you low and destroy it destroy the jivatma and then establish the paramatma in you so renounce the jivatma and create the paramatma in you which is already there but you don't recognize it right and therefore in my one day workshop called oh mind relax please workshop i build on this important theme which i'm going to say build on this important theme i say in us there is a pattern called the jivatma has different patterns in my life workshops i give different patterns victim sustainer dreamer winner in my one day oh mind relax please i explain a pattern in us which is the negative system you can have in you a cat pattern if you have your negative system has a cat pattern in you if it is a cat pattern then you look at the outer world the impression of the outer world will falls into your lower self the jivatma which has a cat bidhala pattern cat pattern it falls into you you know what will happen you will experience have you seen cat you give so much of love to the cat it is very indifferent very very indifferent so much of love if you give to the cat it is indifferent have you seen, have you recognized some people maybe some of you or your mother in law or you say yes or your daughter in law you pour so much of love towards them but they will be indifferent like a cat nothing ah so much of love you give to them they are indifferent why you can't blame them they have a cat pattern that is their psychological pattern the computer has that programming if you have a cat pattern any amount of love if you give it will behave like a cat in my book called oh life relax please i give this example a dog and a cat has having a dialogue the dog and a cat has a dialogue the dog tells the cat you know i think my owner is a god my master is a god why because they give me bath they give me food they take me to the god doctor they treat me like their own child i think they are god 
the cat says i think i am god <laughs> why because my owner also gives me food it also gives me bath it also take me wee doctor i am god the dog says they are god is and the cat says i am god the experience is same no yes or no the experience is same but if it falls in a cat pattern in you any amount of love like a bone dog he'll remain quiet nothing will happen to you. have you seen people nothing i've seen so much of love they'll give oh poor fellows you can't blame them your husband can be like that your wife can be like that all right so therefore don't blame them they have got a negative system called cat pattern ah. so what you should do you should not not blame their horoscope but you should understand they have that cat pattern the negative system you should know how to dismantle that that is the spiritual strength the wealth that you have to acquire all other wealth are useless this is the wealth that you have to really acquire if you read today's times of india i have written on the speaking tree i have given an article today i have said ragunath was a great saint all right when his whole wealth was taken away whole wealth was taken away all right he was still calm and serene he was a great saint still calm and serene somebody asked the whole wealth can be taken away how he was so calm and serene he says the real wealth he said is the wealth of detachment with the wealth of devotion and therefore he says all the false wealth has been taken away my wealth of detachment and devotion my ability to create is not taken away and therefore says all all these wealth were only loans which god had given me now the loan is cleared they have taken away and he was unaffected because he was operating from a different higher self so therefore if you have a cat pattern in you this will happen now some some people's negative system will have another pattern right now i'll call it a snake pattern in my own mind relax please workshop i dwell on this snake if you have a snake pattern if you see a snake if you go near it it will hiss you it you want to pat the cat pat the snake sarpa it will hiss you all right go near it will hiss you right and if you have that snake pattern have you seen somebody goes around you you will hiss they'll go on hissing at people they look at everybody as a threat even somebody comes to support you you will think it is a threat i was taking one workshop in bombay and this person i was selling close your eyes for meditation this fellow was opening his eyes so close your eyes opening your eyes this is why i don't want to get converted he says so much i don't want to i'm a christian i don't want to get converted i said who is interested in converting you my biggest job he said is to convert the hindus back into hindus i have no that agenda itself is a my one life agenda is it but this fellow feels threatened i am converting him and even though my workshops are so non religious because the snake pattern you will feel threatened right the third pattern we have is a pattern i call dog's pattern you see a dog please identify it. don't look or whether it is applicable to my mother in law look at you only everybody starts looking is applicable to my husband not ourselves if you see a dog if you see a dog now if you give love it will wag its tail pa 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 fully wag its tail if you don't give it a stroke what will happen barking barking if the moment if you pour little love it will wag its tail don't give don't give it attention also it start barking have you identified some people if you don't look at them bar bar they'll bark if you look at them then they wag their tail they are addicted to people to pat them all right if you don't give them a little patting they start barking at people now you can have that pattern you can have another pattern i'll call it the fox pattern highly manipulative anything manipulative they'll come to the ashram how to cheat me really the people special specialized people are there innocent people they want to cheat so now please see now i'm giving all this example it all depends on which system your lower self is falling now if you have this you are a helpless victim you get carried by the system you get carried away by the system so therefore the task is 
to dismantle that and in the moment you dismantle that you will find your life becomes tremendously free and then even in chaos you will be able to see harmony. Rion Tatsat